All right. So in this example, um, what I want you guys to look at is there's a couple things. All right. Now, one thing that we need to take note. One thing that we need to take note of is also remembering when we have an inscribed angle. If this was measure of angle one, right? And this is AB. Remember, the measure of angle one is equal to one half the measure of my arc AB, right? It's one half of that. So therefore, if I said that this was equal to 33 degrees, then you guys can reason that the arc measurement is 66 degrees. Jake, can you put that face down, please? Does everybody reason with that? Devin, do you see this? Devin, could you just look up here and see that I want to make sure that you have it in this? The main important thing that I want you to make sure that you have is that when you have an inscribed angle, meaning an angle that has a point on the circle and the two endpoints, that this inscribed angle is one half the measurement of the arc. All right? So that's very important, Nick, for you to be able to in internalize that. Because when we look at this, I know that this is one half this arc, correct? We don't know the measurement of that arc, but we know that that angle is one half that. And this is this angle is one half that arc. Again, we don't know the measurements of the arcs, but we know that it's going to be one half of that. Now, what we do know is this creates a semicircle, correct? And the semicircle is is 180 degrees. So the measure of the arc is 180 degrees. So what that means is the measure of this arc is also 180 degrees, right? Because that's another semicircle. So when we're trying to construct an equation to solve for our missing variables, what we notice is the measurement of the, these two arcs add up to, Jake, what do these two arcs add up to? This arc plus that arc. I don't know why I want to keep on calling you Jake. Because I'm so cute. Maybe that's it. <laughs> so I guess, Jake, I'll ask you the question then. Why do, what do these two arcs add up to? OK. Well, the number is, since this arc adds up to 180, this whole arc adds up to 180. So what I'm simply asking is, when you break up these two arcs into 180, um, then you can say that the, measure, the sum of these two is to 180. So therefore, these two add up to 180, but we're not, remember the arcs are inscribed angle, it's one half of that. So these two add up to one half of 180, which is 90. So the equation I'm going to write, which I'll write over here, is 5x minus 2 um, plus 2x plus 8 equals 90 degrees. They don't add up to 180, they add up to 90. Because they're not, if they were central angles, they would add up to 180. Since they're not central angles, they're inscribed angles, they, enter up to, they add, add up to half of our arc measure. So that's 90. Now I combine my like terms, and I get 7x plus 6 equals 90. I'm sorry, Robert. I, I'm, I don't really want to have to do this for the whole class, but I guess I'm going to have to. So then I have 7x equals. Oh, I'm sorry. 84. Now I divide by 7. x is going to equal 12. Okay. So what you guys will notice for question number 12 is that those arc lengths don't